Jackson Radio Show. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. There was a thing I got. It was sent to me. It was called Enigmas. I can say that. I'm officially black. As you know, I'm 79% Negro, (laughs) 21% white. (laughs) I knew there was some in there. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. You ever do Ancestry.com as a white person, you probably won't trace yourself back to the point where they say your relative was so-and-so owned by... You know, that is that is like a eye opening revelation. So and so, you know, like, you know, this Burton or whatever, my family line owned by the Clasby's or owned by the blankety blank plantation owner or whatever. That is wild to see. This is the idea that people actually did own one another. I mean, you know, they thought that was OK. Democrats thought that was OK. They still do. By the way, Democrats love owning people. If they can't own you. You know, by buying you outright and saying it's okay and rationalizing it, then they'll just steal you and put you in a basement. Come down, you know, periodically and and do whatever they want to you and bring their friends. It's crazy. But that's leftism. No moral core. Anyway, there's this thing, enigmas, that got sent to me. And, it, and, and I thought it was great because it is, it, it showcases exactly how many of us feel with this uh, so-called utopian society where you can't go anywhere you want and feel free and good. And, and it's it showcases the the upside down world, inside out world of leftism. And here's the first one. Isn't it weird that in America, our flag and our culture offend so many people, but our benefits don't. And it's not just the benefits of come get on our Social Security system, come get on our Medicare system, come take advantage of our schools and other things. They take advantage of the American spirit. This the biggest thing. Look, it isn't about getting free education or getting a couple of trinkets here and there, getting your meals paid. I mean, people do that for you all over the world. They're willing to do that, but it's getting to be American. That's a big deal. And people just take, they, they don't, they squander it. The, the, The people leave their countries to come over here to create their country that they just left. That's ridiculous. How about this one? How can the federal government ask U.S. citizens to pay back student loans while illegal aliens receive a free vacation, a free education (laughs) vacation? Very good question. The left brag on getting free education for illegals. They brag about it. They openly tell you these kids need a chance. And you you go out, you work your butt off. You tell your kids you got to study hard. You got to get your education, high school, got to take all those tests. And then maybe you get a scholarship. But if you don't, guess what? Mom and dad will be stocking it away. See, you play by the rules. You do it by the book. Thank you. I had to make that microphone adjustment. It was like, (laughs) but anyway, you do it by the book. And I've told you this many times. Do it by the book. The left hates you. They can't stand you. How dare you do it by the book? There's someone here that can take advantage of you. <laughs> so you're socking away all this money, which, by the way, I saw a statistic that said, um, how, how would you, it was a joke about Bitcoin. It says, how could something raise 17,250%? You know, why would you invest in something that, that's, you know, vapor, that's, that's had a 17,250% increase since its uh, inception or whatever? And then the joke is, that's how much education has gone up in the same amount of time. It's ridiculous how much we pay for college. You would think college would be getting less expensive. You know, uh, look at what Elizabeth Warren made to teach one class. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Professors, tenured professors making. I'm talk. I'm not talking about a hundred grand. I'm talking about three. $400,000 a year. Why? Because they're supposedly so great at what they do. If they were so great at what they do, they don't need the money. If you got patents and all those things that, uh, I mean, you know, let me tell you, you don't need to work in academia. If you worked in academia and you were, you know, like Tesla and you had all the patents, you don't need to work in it. You would do it to say, I just look, I got plenty of money. I want to give back. Should be a labor of love. 
These guys act like they're starving to death. Even the regular teachers, they're not starving to death. They pick the career that's a pretty good career. I, look, I could go on. I, I don't want to cover all these. We won't get through all these this segment because there's a bunch of them. But, yeah, I just can't imagine being I – mean, my kids were scholarship kids, so I don't have to worry about it. But uh, I can't imagine you know, saving up money, getting all this stuff ready for education, only to find out that somebody else got it for free while you did it the hard way. Many of you know what I'm talking about. I got friends, yeah, well, you know, we socked away about 50000 for the kids' education. I'm going, wow. You know, could, imagine what somebody could do with that. I, there, By the way, there's some that have socked away lots more. But imagine what you could do with that if you could just hand that over to your kids at the end of, you know, their their college that they got online. And they go start a business, $100,000, dollars to start a business, something that they really enjoy doing. And they know because... When you think about education, I've talked about this. 80% of the people who get their degrees don't use their degrees. How sick is that? I told some kids that the other day. They were like, really? I go, yeah. I said, how many? There were three of them there. I said, look, you know, statistically speaking, two of you are not even going to use your degrees. It's two of you. You're going to go. You're going to pay a ton of money. I don't know what, you know what your situation is, but you're going to pay a ton of money. And you're not even going to use your degrees. And they were looking at each other like, I said, do you even know what you want to do? And they, it was funny to look at them just kind of go, oh, well, not. And I go, yeah, you don't, do you? I go, you want to know why? Because your high school hasn't prepared you. Your folks don't even know how to do it because they went through the same system. And I said, and then I said, do, what are you, what are you, do, do folks, what are their degrees in? Interestingly, none of their folks were using their degrees. None. Six sets of parents. I mean, three sets of parents. Six people. Not one using their degree. And I said, but they encourage you to go to college, right? They want to pay for that. They're ready to do anything to, do, to get you there. And they don't even know what they wanted to do in life. They've changed careers. You're going to probably change careers. And you're going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. That should tell you everything you need to know about the rules of education. Meanwhile, some illegal is going to go get an education that he or she is not going to use ultimately, unless it's social justice warrior. I'm going to become an attorney, an immigration attorney. I'm going to become an advocate. I'm going to become a community, blah, blah, blah. That's what they're going to use their degrees for, because it's not going to be anything pro proactive, productive for the United States. If you told me this little Mexican dude is a genius, he knows physics, calculus, science, whatever, maths, all these different maths, we're going to educate him, and then he's going to you know, work for the Sandia National Labs or something, I'd go, okay, I get it. But we're just educating people because we're, let me tell you what it is, they're filling the system, they're filling it up taking your tax money, filling up the system and making you think, oh, well, we feel good. We got them in education. You got them in education that's junk. They're not even going to use it. And all, you know who benefits? The educators. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.